Welcome back to Survivor Guatemala, Alec. Whoa, the back what's to going? back. Back to back right. episodes in our For recording us. schedule, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Previously, Gary has finally met his end. He, fi- he finally met his end. He finally, he finally. Uh, it was the fourth quarter, uh, and he threw Football, a pass. And unfortunately, shit, uh, unfortunately, it's goaltending. It didn't goaltending. <laughs> That's basketball, That's Zach. Right. Foul. Um, foul goaltending. Foot um, past the foul line on the wrong. He was offsides and he had to go. He had to go a different different way and yeah. through pass and it, unfortunately it just did, was incomplete. Um, had to bench him. No, he just lost. They he's, no, he's had bench, to bench him at all. He's benched for the season. Well, he's, he's there he's with benched, Bobby Johnson. He's benched. He's benched for the rest of the season. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Gary's out. Uh, he tried his best, but. He's no no match for the Titanic Alliance. The Titan the Titanic Alliance is their name. Yeah, that's their name now. They're mm-hmm. sinking. So uh, they. <laughs> well, but, from what they said last time, they're so solid. Steph said we trust each other so much. Yeah. This is almost too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, she's like feels like it's too big. To, I even wrote that note down. Stephanie feels like it's too good to be true. That's always a good thing to say and put out there in the universe, you know. Yeah, this it feels is like it's too good to be true, huh? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Nothing. What could go wrong? Everything is up enough for us. Everything's just, just, mm-hmm. it's just there. Here so we, we uh, saw Lydia on the outs. We saw Rafe win another immunity. We saw <laughs> Judd and Gary getting into it. We saw Lydia and Stephanie getting into it. Stephanie, uh, maybe getting a little. Too powerful. Powerful for it's her own corrupted good. She's, her. <laughs> she's flipping out because some people got her out in the last challenge. Harness your anger. She took it. Took it very personally. Yeah. But so I get good, good sportsmanship, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're really good. I am a good here. sportsmanship. Uh, final six. Final six. Yeah, here, here it is. This is big. All right. Yeah, we're coming. Coming down to it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Coming in. So let's check it out. As always, click the link in the description to see the highlights of our reaction and come back afterwards for the discussion, okay? All right. I know it's hard feelings, but you got to get you gotta get move farther. <sighs> ah, a bunch of scumbags! Dude, this guy's a fun... He's... Oh, my God. I, he's he's ga- ga- gaslight you up the wazoo. This is the freaking Judd. I think Man. I mean Jeb was I think Jeb was a treat. He truly Oh yeah, Jeb, this is this is this is the this is like the season of Judd. This has been Judd's uh The fact been, like what we great. saw him doing in the pre in the pre merge uh time. Yeah. That was, was just like, a taste that was a yeah. that was a taste of all things Judd right there. I remember you saying like he's not long for this game. It's like you would think so, yeah. You would think he's so. Final six. You know, it seemed like a surefire final four, but yeah. yeah, they really did get, they did sow that dissension there. Yeah, I think it's like partly Rafe and partly Danny. Yeah, uh, sealed the deal on that one because he was not Rafe. he was not looking at Steph at all, honestly. No. But but she yeah. she fed into what they were uh, giving them. Yeah, giving her. Yeah. so she's like well, he I, lies a lot. But, yeah, he did, and yeah. But I mean, I, and he didn't really like he was not he was pretty. He, pretty loyal to the four like he would have yeah. stuck with them yeah so but yeah rafe rafe said he can't trust a man like judd you can only trust that you can't trust yeah and then danny just needed to find that hole there and she she found it mm. it was good yeah that's that's the interesting thing when it comes to these these other groups and it's interesting to see that there's still one person hanging on there i mean yeah thanks to immunity but their their dissension their sort of mingling in this tribe has sort of sowed the discord that we're seeing now and that's made it very interesting this doesn't always happen in survivor sometimes it like it's like a slow burn and sometimes it it just it can happen mm-hmm. but like in this case it's like it's boom it's happening it's it's really their presence has really bucked everything up for for the alliance you know so yeah, like literally, literally just saw them talking about how solid the four was. It's uh, set, well, Steph sp- particularly was like, it's too good to be true. We got two girls, two guys, two from each tribe. This is great. Um, and then 
Yeah. And then, I mean, naturally, naturally it fell apart. So, yeah, down to the final five here. But I, I love that exit from Judd. Like, that's exactly what you would expect from Judd. Scumbags, yeah. yeah scumbags. I hope you all get bit by a freaking cro- crocodile, man. <laughs> you know, <scumbags>. Man. <laughs> you, get, you get bit by a crocodile, man. It's like, jeez, uh, man. <laughs> there was a lot this episode. There was an auction where, yeah. where Lydia conti- continued to not get any food. <laughs> yeah, what the heck was that? Be. <laughs> she just she just straight up didn't didn't get anything. I was like, all right. Yep. And uh, Judd bought his loved one. He bought his loved one. And yep. then he brought uh, Cindy and Steph with their loved ones. Mm-hmm. And then the other three had to go back to the old Yakum, Nakum and uh, or Yasha. I forget. Yasha, I think it was. And they and they just had to sit there. They had to chill. They had to chill. Yep. And but, uh, then. Uh, the, Loved ones experience camp life. Danny paid a big. I think this is actually really crucial. She paid for this freaking uh, advantage yeah. in the immunity yeah. challenge. Yeah, it was a big deal right there because it was probably going to be her going home if it wasn't for that. You would think so, and and like yeah. this opportunity to find the a crack may, might not have came up if finding she cracks didn't win this. Yeah, <laughs> she did mention finding a little crack. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she switched. It gave her the op- opportunity to switch with another player at any point. Mm. So it should be. It's pretty much a guaranteed win as long as you're paying enough attention. Like, because if you just yeah. last long enough to where everyone just has a certain amount of options left, then you just look, pick the person who has the most options left. Boom, right. And you win. Right. And yeah, the most options and, and isn't like tied up in another, like, oh, they're up against another person right now type of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean,. So it was an interesting challenge. The tile flipping is a cool strategy game, but it kind of yeah. undoes the real actually having the strategic edge on there because it's like, well, well, she's going to override it. She's with just going to win. Anyway. Yeah. Because I don't know if Stephanie might have won that. I know yeah. she, like, she had herself in the best position, I guess. Yeah. So Judd booted out dramatic fashion. Dramatic fashion. I, I just like uh, the whole thing was just really, really good. I mean, they, they I think they almost felt like yeah, J- Jed's still upset about Jamie a little bit. He's still kind of, he's kind of acting. He's sort of like, like I said, even last episode, I think there's something in the air. He's acting a little like, like Jamie a little bit, where he's getting <laughs> a little paranoid. And though he so did like, have a, a a pretty chill reaction to it, all things considered, I think. To, yeah. To Jamie being booted out, in terms of what we would have expected. I'm, I mean, I mean, at that point, it's like, what what do you do? Do you, do you actually yell at people like? I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, if you're asked to leave immediately, like I don't know, he's just respecting the rules of the game. But he did, he did get to the scumbag, scumbag, yeah, you're a bunch of scumbags the whole time, basically. So mm-hmm. yeah, but I, I love it. I those are the kinds of exits oh, yeah. I love when it's just because oh, when it's when they're getting all yeah, when they're they're because they're passionate all. about it. Yeah, I, yeah, I prefer that over someone just being like okay and just walking silently and and just like good luck, guys. You know the. This is much more. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I wouldn't say I'd like prefer it because all it is, it's just like, it's, it's like weird sour grapes about like yeah you're gonna get fucking voted off. You but it's weirdo. like it's raw though. It's real. Like you. I mean, you I. I it. mean, I like. I. I like it in the sense that it's entertaining because it, it was very entertaining. It's very. It can be, it's very entertaining to see somebody flip out. Like, you know, it's that's like, why he's been. That's why he's been like so entertaining all season. And like, you're gonna vote me out. I'm gonna say. It. Good luck, guys. See you. See you soon. It's like, don't remember that, but you you do remember Big Tom <laughs> with the freaking glare the back glare, at Boston yeah. Rob. That's what yeah. I remember. I love that. Yeah, I'd just be like, later, losers. <laughs> I just, I mean, I love the emotion because it's just at the very least that you care. You know, it's not like, oh, well, I got voted out. All right, that's fine. I was just here for the fun anyway, for the fun time. Not a long time. All right. Uh, fun episode, though. Fun episode. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. Who would you give the MVP to for the episode? Hard not to give it. Hard not to give it to Danny. Um, mm. but I think ultimately I'm going to give it to Judd. <laughs> it's hard uh, not to, but I will give it to Judd. Uh, it's hard not to, but I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give it to Judd. Uh, for honestly, this is like, it's just. Judd, Judd just did, you know, acted goofy with his wife, and he was he did, all, you know, a sexy camper. Yeah, he and he was sexy camper. Yeah, and he was like 
blustering around about you know everything he just had you know he, he was almost making less sense than normal you know he, he kind of rambles and doesn't make sense anyways but he was almost making less sense than normal and then and then it's just that reaction man you know it's like how can you how can you not love that that's like that's what you watch survivor for the spice the raw mm-hmm. spice yeah so there you go love it love that because if you look back at all all the vote outs this season like which ones do we remember I remember this one. I guess I remember Jamie saying yeah, "flying Jamie. side." Yeah, this is a little weird one, but yeah, yeah, he's a weirdo. <laughs> he's a freak. He's a freak. <laughs> but yeah, you know, other than that, there's not there's no not many really big moments. You know, this is because mm. uh, usually it's at least earlier in the season is like a foregone conclusion and who was going to go next, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like you had the pecking order of the you had this dominant. This untouchable six for a while, and everybody was they were just going through them. So, mm. when you get a switch up like this, that's when you get a good reaction. Um, so, power rankings for the final five. So, previously it was Rafe, Steph, Cindy, Judd, Lydia, Danny. Judd was on the low on the low end there a little bit. Yeah, um, but but two more people below him. So but they decided to, up. well, well, it's because Danny had immunity and uh, Lydia just went along with whatever their plan was because they were, it was sowing discord among, mm-hmm. among Judd. So, um, cause that's, that's what Judd wanted. And they were like, well, he's too strong. He's stronger than, than she is. So it made, made sense. Um, I think we're going Rafe, Steph, Cindy, Lydia, no, Lydia, Cindy, Danny. Mm-hmm. And interesting, that's another one where they did leave off one more. Last time they left off mm. Judd from yeah. the Jamie vote, now they left yeah. off Cindy from this vote. Yeah. So, that's like, damn, for the, so as solid as the four was, only only two of them know about, knew about what was see, happening. See, also, if I was Judd, I would have I would have made it more solid. Like, try to make it more solid. Like, when that being left out, he acted like he's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really that upset. I mean, you, but you can kind of tell it was sort of bothering him a little bit. And that's when he started acting weird. He got he caught Jamie's disease. And then and then he just, I don't know. Again, there's so much cut down in editing. But, like, it just seemed weird that, like, there was, there was nothing really of him, like, going in to be like, hey, vote for me. I mean, okay, so there was that one spot where, where like Lydia asked him like, "Hey, you know, if you need me to vote, vote for you, you know, say something." He just like just blathers on about nothing. You know, it could mm-hmm. be any one of us, and it's just like, okay, like I think she was asking you who to vote for, and you said didn't tell her. Then she go down and started said the same thing to Rafe, and he's like, "No, no, no, you're voting for me." Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, <laughs> it's like, all right. But to be fair, uh, Judd was the one blindsided in that Jamie vote. And then, ultimately, it still seemed like Jeb was gonna stick with the four. Yeah. But yeah, people were acting like he was lying. But it's like, really? I mean, you guys blindsided him. So I mean, yeah. He had a pretty tame reaction considering considering that, yeah. and he was still seemed pretty loyal to you guys. So yeah, which is he wasn't even yeah. entertaining Lydia. So he clearly was set with the four. Yeah. So it's interesting to see if that was the right decision or not in mm-hmm. the long run. Um, I think he's lied about some other stuff too. I mean, I know the the big one is the idol, but I think I think he has kind of fibbed around about certain things. I mean, even just sowing discord about Lydia, like he didn't really even hear anything. They were so far away, and it was like, did you really hear what they were saying? He, I mean, I mean it was like it was right. He was right that Gary was trying to to work her, but he he was yeah, and he was, but yeah, I don't know. Judd is based. He was based. No, he's not. No, no. I would not. That's not the word I would use to describe Judd. Is not based. <laughs> based king. No. Right. No. Uh, come I'm back. not signing. <laughs> I'm not signing off on that title for Judd. Get that. Get out of here with that garbage. Get out of here with that garbage. You know, just shut up, man. You know, just shut up, man. Shut up. Shut I'm up. a sportsmanship. I'm a good sportsmanship. She said I had ADD. <laughs> she can't. Stand you right now, man. Just, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
One of, that's still one of the greatest <laughs> tribal councils ever. I, I, I can't. Uh, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful we have thing. Judd to thank for it. What we a do, great, we do. great casting choice, huh? <laughs> that was a, it was an idea. Put that guy out there, and he just constantly. I mean, he attracted drama all throughout the pre-merge. Well, yeah, here it is. Wildest tribal ever. Judd flips and Margaret. He was on his feet. So you give yeah. us the best travel for uh, ever, and yeah. you give us a great exit. And you give us drama along the way, like the freaking getting drunk, the the taking too many beers, puking in the shelter. I mean, he won challenge. Oh well, there you go. There's a lie right there. Taking too many beers. I didn't take. Uh, that was me. Like, <laughs> I don't think he even knew at that point, but he didn't. He's care. probably but, yeah, yeah. It's not me, man. You know, whatever, man. You know, this is but, what I mean. But if he it talks did, like, if it was, is, I mean, I deserve the, more beer. This is the gaslight talking. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Like, he's the kind of person that would be like, no, nah, I never said that. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't. And then being caught, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. But mm-hmm. I mean, Jeff you know. Probst had to, had to set it in stone. You were just outed. Outed You were just outed. Outed with a lie. So next episode, come back next week for the final five for wow, Guatemala. Big... Big big stuff coming up. We're we're closing right in on the really finale here. Close. Really close. Yeah. Now, what video would you recommend our viewers watch after this one? Well, you should go check out our go check out our review of Future Nostalgia. Dua Lipa's album Future Nostalgia. Yeah, right. go check it out. Fair enough. Yeah. You want me? I want you, baby. My sugar boo. I'm levitating. <laughs> My sugar boo. Uh, is, is there anything? I'm trying to think if there's anything in those lyrics that could remotely be tied into Survivor. I don't. I can't you can't got remember. me in love again. Well, that doesn't really happen in Survivor, I guess. Yeah. Only between uh, Greg and Jen last season. It was beautiful to watch. That was every. Uh, that was yeah. <laughs> there was a, there was a whole segment of the show that's devoted to that. It was weird. That was like a weird. I mean, even the pre merge they had freaking. I don't even remember their names. But they had a little love story going on too. I think Jeff was one of them. Uh, I think his name was Jeff. Yeah. You know, but know. there's some love. I guess there's some, some love, love in there. There's love every once in a while, yeah. Um. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. Leave a comment. Click all the links in the description for our social media. And come back next week. All right. See you soon. Rob and Amber are going to do it. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. That, that is love. That, that is love. True.